Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gym we're trying today is Heyman's London Dry. That one right over there. The very essence of Heyman's is that they make their gins using the same family recipe developed over 150 years ago. Do you remember that? I, I, <laughs> I line them up, he knocks them down. <laughs> using only the finest botanicals available, combined with a two day gin making process, the botanicals are infused in the English wheat spirit for an entire day, allowing the full natural flavors to shine through. The botanicals include juniper, coriander seeds, orange peel, angelica root, cinnamon, orish, licorice root, nutmeg, cassia bark, and lemon peel. There you go. Nothing jumping out there that's no. unusual. It comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 41.2% and costs around £26. We bought ours directly from the distillery. We love being able to do this because it means all the money goes direct to the distillery and we get to have a bit of a nose round. <laughs> we, do. Yeah. We, had a, we had a big nose round we there, did. didn't we? Today we'll be making a classic gin and tonic using one of our favourite tonics, which is Navas from Cornwall and garnishing with some lemon zest. That's a zest of a lemon. As always, we'll be trying it neat first. What I like is, if you go onto their website as well, there's the option to have it wrapped, which means it comes in this lovely paper. So I think that's a lovely extra touch. We've always liked attention to detail. We do. It is still about the gin, but these little things are, are lovely. They that. look great on your shelves. They oh, do. I mean, and we, we have their range because we went to, we actually went to the distillery. To buy one. To buy one. And we tried like, some nips of ones and I'm like, you know what, let's just get all of them. Let's just get all of them. It's 11 bottles, wasn't it? Yep. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. And there is one we're, le we're left to get. So we'll be getting that one very soon. Right. Glug, glug, glug. Oh. That's for you there. Yep, nice citrusy smell. Yeah, nice classic gin yep. smell, fresh smell. There's some heat coming off that. Some heat. Nice. Um, unmistakable juniper. It is a ginny gin. Yep, very ginny gin. Very nice, smooth. Yep. There's heat, but it's smooth, right? It's actually quite sweet. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness come off that. Yeah, I am too. Yep, I am too. Yep, citrusy. But yeah. it's very, it's obviously, being a typical gin, it's very juniper led. Oh, I'm get getting a much. tingly tongue. Oh, another my one tongue, of those. Yeah, but it's my tongue that's tingly, not my lips. Normally it's my lips. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a nice, I'm getting a nice Ooh. mouth feel drinking it. Oh, I'm feeling warming. Warm. Warming from the inside warming out. Warming from the inside out. I quite, I quite like this. Okay. Well, let's see what it's like with a tonic in. Mm. So, cheers. Hold on, you stir it. Cheers. And you didn't mention the glasses yet. Right, so we do have the Heyman's glasses, and we have, this is part of the selection that we've got in, in our shelves over there. Uh, so we just thought we'd get them out to show them to you. These will be coming in, in future videos as well. Um, oh, I do love these glasses. Getting back to the gin. Citrusy. Smooth. It is. It's a nice, it's a nice kind of light piney juniper though. It's not, it's not an oily yeah, juniper. Light. It's not overpowering at all. It is, it has an element of sweetness. Mm. There's sweetness there, a little bit peppery. It is, if you looked up gin in the dictionary, yeah. this should <laughs> show a picture of Heyman's in, in the actual description. Yeah, I would say it would be. There we go. It definitely yeah. would be, 100%. Yes, this is, this is a very clean gin. Mm. Tasty, I reckon it'd be great in a martini. I reckon it'd be fantastic in a martini. It is exactly what a gin should be, a traditional gin. Um, we've tried some nips of the others and then we, we bought these and... Uh, Are you getting any pepperiness? Yeah, yes. yeah, there's pepperiness yeah. in it. Turning and, off peppery. And enough, enough kind of citrus. Nothing in it is overpowering no. at all. You know, the, the first hit you get is juniper and that pretty much stays with you throughout. You get that kind of juniper flavor through there. Um, a light sweetness. There's a light herbalness to it as well. Um, yeah. It's peppery. Um, 
Yeah, it's yeah, I like this. Very nice. It's a very, very clean. It's, very it's good. clean. It's yeah. a really clean taste. Mm. If for anyone that hasn't drunk gin before, um, they wanted to know what should ordinary, regular gin taste like. What should that be? I think it's this. I don't know. Ordinary is quite a no, not ordinary, but a classic, 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 classic. There you yeah, go. Well classic. done. Well done. Because. Because it's actually, it's really nice. Yes, it's, you've got all these flavours out there and people are making things and putting loads and loads of things in there and, and making them fantastic and taste beautiful. Sometimes taste... simpler is better. Yeah. You yeah. don't need to add so many things because this, this is this is exactly what gin should be. It's not and this is traditional. horrible aftertaste. Yeah, this is traditional gin. Again, it makes me wonder why we've had recipes like this around for a long time that we were stuck with for quite a few years <laughs> a couple of brands that were when we were growing up yeah poor to mediocre it's like when we've got these these drinks out there that have been around and yeah we we, we had to have the kind of mediocre of gins we, yeah, we grew up with a very small selection yeah. but the don't plus have any more is, the plus of it is is that it has changed and there is a huge selection out there mm. now some will be good some will be bad some people will jump on the bandwagon some of them will actually do it really well this is one of those companies I think is doing it well. Yeah. Definitely amazing looking distillery over in South London. Really enjoyed our time there as well. Um, we went to buy one, we bought 11. <laughs> so well done to the sales team down there. Um, they, do, they do a gin liqueur as well, which is an interesting one that I found because it still tasted like gin. So mm. the idea was it's a gin liqueur, but it tastes like gin, but the ABV was actually really, really yeah. high, but it was lovely and sweet. But yeah, I can't wait to kind of uh, share all of uh, these with you guys as well. But yeah, yeah. Um, let's score it. Let's do let's this. Give, let's give it a score. I'm oh. having that one. Okay, right, I'm ready. So am I. Yeah, go. go. Yeah, yeah. Easy. It's, it's this is what a traditional gin should be. So I'm not going to say no frills because there is frills because it is. Perfect. It is how a traditional gin should taste, does taste. It's fantastic. Yep, very good. Love it. Most enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, I'd have no problems drinking this. When it goes, we will obviously replenish it. We will always have this on our shelves. Yeah, yeah I like this. Definitely. I like, yeah. I, I really like it. Right. Okay, I'll do me bits. Do your bits. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you do. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers. So good. Mm -hmm.